telly is, is the plains, and, and of course the swamps are in the plains, and you've got Kilimanjaro in the background, so the scenery is just fantastic. Here in Amboseli we have many elephants and the number of elephants is actually increasing every year, every year. So the last count, which is about two years, they said that there were one, more than 1,200. <laughs> is um, situated within the old Kenya Conservancy, which is owned by the Maasai people. Uh, the local Maasai is around 90% of the staff here are from the local Maasai community. And it's quite unique in that it's only our vehicles that would be seen in the Conservancy. There's no overcrowding like in most parks. So there's that feeling of privacy uh, as you are driven around. <laughs> actually get in and amongst the, the bush and stay with the Maasai. It's, uh, it's, a it's, been, it's yeah. been a privilege, yeah. I, there's so much I didn't know about the Maasai people, how they, how their community operates, how they work, how, you know, what they do, why they do it. It's, it's just been fascinating, everything, isn't it? Fascinating. An enlightenment. Yeah. yeah. So it is the women who do the building of the houses. To actually be in amongst them as opposed to be staying in a in a luxury, you know, luxury five-star yeah. hotel. It's a far superior experience. Das ist eine ganz tolle Idee, sowas als Zeltcamp aufzumachen. Man fühlt sich so an Jugend erinnert und es ist toll, sehr komfortabel Zelte und eine ganz gute Idee, besser als wenn man jetzt in einem Hotel war. <lacht> into the community in which they are kind of basing the, the trips around so um, you know you have Maasai working in the camps and their own conser conservancies which are owned by the Maasai and that quite appealed to us. <laughs> It's been fantastic. We've already yep. enjoyed ourselves. We've been closer to the animals than I was expecting, particularly the lions. Mm. <laughs>